So far, we've discussed ways to drive more safely. To do that, the class has presented a series of defensive driving principles organized into the steps of preparation, anticipation, and response. These steps are intended to make driving safer as well as less stressful for you and road users that you share the road with. For defensive driving, though, where the rubber really meets the road is how to apply defensive driving concepts under the toughest circumstances, like when you're facing poor weather or road conditions or reckless behavior by other drivers, or worst of all, when a crash seems imminent. Up until now, most of our instruction has been aimed at normal driving conditions, and along the way we mentioned how to adapt to poor conditions. For example, a standard following distance is to be at least two, preferably three seconds behind the vehicle you're following. But when it's dark or wet, it should be at least a second more than that and even more when it's icy. In this lesson, we'll look in greater depth at how to adapt the principles of defensive driving to poor road conditions. We'll follow that with a look at the one behavior that does more to make a collision more likely than any other, and that would be aggressive driving. Aggressive driving takes a whole host of unsafe actions, including speeding, failing to yield the right of way, and improper lane changes and improper turns. Rather than tell you what you already know, that aggressive driving is bad, we'll look at how and why it happens and what to do about it. After all, this is driving in the real world, so let's look at how we're all part of it. Then, in the final lesson, we'll look at what happens in a collision and what to do when one seems imminent. We'll begin our look at defensive driving in the real world by talking about the weather.